Joining us now to dive further into this, the Democratic congressman from California, Luke Correa. He is a member of the Homeland Security Committee. Congressman, uh, thank you for being here on the Hill. Appreciate the time, as always. So we we heard from the White House today. Thank they you basically for said me. they, yeah, of course. They basically said they had to do this. Hands tied. We got the money. We had to do it. Um, is that the case? Look, this is a worldwide refugee crisis. We've been seeing this coming for a long time. Trump had the problem, but COVID made it much, much worse. We've got thousands of people coming through the Darien Gap. We're not focusing on short-term solutions or long-term solutions. This is a crisis that continues to get out of control. My, my who's, solution who's... working on this issue, go ahead. Oh, no, so, uh, sorry, there's my clearly solution... a little bit of a delay. Yeah, no, give me your solution, go for it, because that's, that's the, the central question. My solution, we need more personnel to manage the border. But long term, we need to create jobs where people are fleeing. Instead of doing that, this administration is putting tariffs, tariffs on goods from those areas where we should be creating jobs. So I think Congress has to put partisanship aside and make sure we focus on the fundamental so, reasons why people are leaving their countries. So President Biden says... Um, we don't need a wall. He doesn't believe in it. Alejandro Mayorkas, the DHS secretary, says, we need a wall at that spot. Who's right, the president or the secretary? Look, Clinton started building the wall. You want to call it a wall or a barrier? Every administration since has been building a wall, a barrier. San Isidro, you don't have one, not two. Areas, we have three walls, three barriers, and people still coming across. <coughs> when you have hungry people, People are going to figure out a way to feed their families. Yeah, I, I, I hear you. And, you. and you say that there's history here. So why is President Biden taking the stance that, that we don't need it? I mean, you, you just laid out the case that Look, other presidents have done this. Why is he the outlier? I would argue that the walls don't work, barriers don't work. Focus on the okay. fundamental reasons why people are leaving their countries. And we haven't done that. You know, why do we put tariffs on goods from Guatemala, from other Latin American countries? help create jobs so people don't have to go north. You know, 80% of the women, by the time they get to the border, these refugees, 80% are either raped or sexually assaulted. <clears throat> That's a big risk they take going north. Let's help them stay home. You know, um, Donald Trump, uh, you mentioned him, of course, and, and he's at the center of this. He, he put out a social media post today and he said, uh, well, the president apologize. I will await his apology. Is Donald Trump owed an apology here? I have no idea what that's about. All I know is after COVID, this situation got worse. And what we have to do is focus on the challenge of refugees. Mr. Trump, I don't know what you're talking about. President Biden, I have no idea what you're taking, thinking about. My concern is this country, security of this country, to make sure we control what's going on south of the border and make sure we do it for the benefit of all American taxpayers, sir. Congressman Luke Correa, uh, appreciate the time. As always, hope you come on back. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.